mis amores, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am giving you a Freddy Krueger versus Jason look. Now I know I didn't upload one last week but I was just trying to come up with something that I could do and definitely this is one that I really really want to do especially because it was one of my favorite scary movies. So I wanted to give it to you guys, but a little bit more of a modern twist into it. So it doesn't look so dull and boring, I guess you could say. But I wanted to give her a little bit more of lashes and lips. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. But before you do, you already know, you have to subscribe if you are not already and turn on that post notification bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a video. Now we're winding down to Halloween and it's so sad that it's almost over. I've been having so much fun creating looks. So definitely next year, you thought that this was good? Girl, we're gonna kick it up a notch more and more each year. But without further ado, if you guys wanna see how I got this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. So the first thing I did was I drew a white line down the middle of my face and on the side where I'm drawing everything of the holes is the Freddy side. Now what I'm using is my color lip pencil from Morphe in the shade Love Bite. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm creating these holes first and then what we're going to do after we fill, after we draw in the holes, we're going to fill them in with Morphe James Charles palette. And we're going to use those two shades that I showed you right there in the shade Spooky and No Beams. And what I did was I went kind of spreading out within those areas, kind of not making it too neat, very sloppy, because with this, we're trying to make those burnt hole effects that he has. So we're just gonna do that all over the face. Now to fill in on the other side of what we did, I use Love That, No Beans, and Spooky. Mix it up a little bit so that way it looks a little more realistic of holes in the face. So you just use an eyeshadow brush. I mean the eyeshadow brush that I used was BH Cosmetics in the number nine. So that way it's a little bit more dense and it can blend in with what we're doing for the look. So here what I'm using is a small eyeliner brush and I'm using the two eyeshadows No Beans and Boutique and I'm mixing those in together and I'm re-outlining the holes in the face because we want to make it more skin like and more wrinkly and more burnt because that's how Freddy Krueger looked like. So that's what I'm creating all over the face with this.
After that, using these same colors, I'm outlining a little bit more all over the face to look more wrinkled and more realistic. Now to save time off camera, I did my eyeshadow and I also did the white and the black outlinings for the mask. And now for Jason's side, what I'm doing is I'm using a black gel liner and I'm going in and I'm making little holes like a ho hockey mask all over the face so that way it can look like it. Now using a small eyeliner brush, I'm going in with Spooky from the Murphy James Charles palette and I'm just contouring where the holes are to make them look a little bit more realistic of a hockey mask all over where we put the holes in. Then with my eyeliner brush, I went in and I went into the shade Spooky and I'm making cracks along the perimeter of my face to make it look more of a cracked mask. Also where my eye is because it's kind of like a blacked out eye mask and I'm just doing that all over the perimeters of my face and where the eye is. Then I just went in and I just contoured the top of my head and also along my jawline. And to save more time, I just put on some lashes and also mascara and liner. And that'll be the end of the look. And this is the completed look of the Freddy versus Jason. Now, I wanted to put my own little modern twist into it just because it needed to be a little bit more girly. So definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But that is it for today's video. If you are not already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notification bell so that way you get notified every time I upload a video. Give this video a big thumbs up to let me know that you guys enjoyed it and comment down below on what you guys would like to see next. Until next time, te quiero mucho mis amores and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.